Hi everyone, this is Uvez Bek. Welcome to VFX 101. Today, I will teach you about the basic Superman fly technique in Adobe After Effects. So, uh, let's start. First, I set the camera on a fixed frame. Then, my friend act like to fly just like a Superman. Then, he moved back and I shot the background video like bottom to top camera move. Okay, uh, move the slider to the start fly position. Then, split the layer. Move the layer to the last camera move scene. Then, again split layer. Now, this is the actual scene. First, character jump. Then, background appear. Okay, move the slider where your character ready to fly. Then, split layer. And, press Ctrl D to duplicate the layer. Okay. Select the rotor brush tool. Double click the layer and select the character. If you want to dislike the unnecessary selection, hold on key and paint the rough area. After rotoscoping the character, move down the background layer. Now move the slider to check the animation. Cool. Now this is the tricky part. We need more frames for a fly guy. So uh, we save the last frame image, hide the extra layers and make sure your composition uh, window zoom must be 100%. Okay. Okay, go to the composition menu, save frame as select file and change the file format into PNG sequence and make sure channel must be RGB plus alpha. Okay, hit render. Okay, next import the image and drag into the last frame. Okay, now play the video. This one. Okay, select the both layer and Pre-compose, Control Shift C, and name is Fly Guy. Good. Okay, split the extra layer. Now the time to animate the Fly Guy. First, convert the layer into 3D mode and apply the position keyframe, just like bottom to top. Okay, apply some X rotation. Apply more position keyframe to make more realistic. Cool. Okay, let's play the whole video. Uh, ready to fly. Okay, okay, we missed only one frame. Okay, select the first keyframe and move the character a little bit top. Yeah. Now it's look more elastic. Uh, again play. Cool. Okay. Add some dust effect. Simple import the footage and drag top of the layer. And adjust the layer position where you want to show the dust effect. Okay, duplicate the same layer and adjust the layer timing to make more elastic. And finally, I applied magic bullet look for color correction. I hope you like this tutorial. If you like it, share this tutorial and uh, subscribe to VFX 101 and must uh, press the bell icon. Thank you.